Welcome to the Photoshop CS5 for Architecture students provided by the School of Architecture at the University of Queensland. This short video is intended to outline the operation of the School of Architecture A3 printer scanner. The printer scanner is located in the main resource room on level 3 of the Zelman Cowan building. Um, inside the resource room you will find um, not only the printer scanner but our two um, A0 um, full colour plotters. Now the resource room is opposite the main computer lab on level 3 so it should be convenient to find. One thing to note, um, above each printer you will see a printer name, in this case the A3 printer scanner is the CPZC328. It's important to um, recognize the names of the printers because you will need this information when you come to actually output your images through the print credit software. Now the printer scanner works like a normal photocopier. Um, it has a scanning bed um, up to A3 size and can scan up to A3 full color. The operation is through a combination of the keypad and the touch screen. Now working systematically uh, through um, the process, we would start with the scan settings. Um, it will default, it will detect the size of the paper on the scanning area and go to the default setting which is usually a PDF full colour. Now if this isn't what you want, um, you can um, open up the various options and select um, the new option and then collapse the options again. The file format um, gives you an option of PDF, JPEG or TIFF in colour or grayscale. Select that and then you need to select the destination. In the operation of the printer scanner at the School of Architecture we always email our scans to our student email address. So we would select the email radio button on the touch screen, use the email address radio button to access the alphanumeric keypad, we enter in our email address, hit the OK, and then OK again to accept that. Now to execute the scan we then just simply press the green start button and then if we're done we can then finish the operation or if we can send multiple scans through the same operation in which case you would then adjust the uh, image quality, the image format and so on. Note that you don't have to re-enter your email address as that is already stored in the system as part of this operation. Now when you've done all your scans, if you hit the Done button, that will then um, transmit all of your scanned images to your inbox. Now a few um, words of caution. Uh, just check the scan quality before doing a lot of bulk scanning. It's best to do a scan, check it on Photoshop, print it out and see if that's really um, working for you. Also, don't scan too much at one time because if we have too much, um, our inbox limit will reject the scan. Also, if you're sending um, scans at high resolutions, it's recommended to email them one at a time to avoid this. But hopefully um, you won't have any problems. Um, wish you good luck and happy scanning.